official swearing-in ceremony for Councilman Howard Duvall, Jr., Councilman Edward H. McDowell, Jr., and Councilman-elect William Brennan. So I've been through a few swearing-in ceremonies now, and I will say that I always feel a healthy sense of urgency and excitement about the work still to be done. But more so, there's a spirit in this place of renewal, energy, and hope for our city, particularly um, for these re-elected members of our council and our newest member of city council. So, Councilman Duvall and Ali Ann, Councilman McDowell, I don't see him now, and Jeannie, there they are, and Councilman Olette Brennan and Lauren. Congratulations. I am here on behalf of all of the 2,300 employees of the City of Columbia to assist you in any way that I can, and we're ready to work. So good. Good luck on your journey of public service. At this time, we will have remarks by the Honorable Mayor Stephen K. Benjamin. It's always a, a serious and solemn and joyful occasion when we have the opportunity to uh, induct and, and readmit uh, the people's choice to public office in America. We do not uh, take it lightly uh, that this is indeed uh, the greatest democratic nation in the history of the world, where the people um, have the opportunity, and I make it a point to tell this to children every time I go and speak at a school. I've done over 250 or so schools since I've had the privilege of serving as mayor of the city, uh, that America is not like every other country around the world, uh, that we have the, the, not only the right, but the responsibility to participate in every single election that we possibly can and make sure our voices are heard and that when people acquit themselves well, we bring them back to office. Uh, and when maybe not so much, we, we tell them thank you for your service. And, uh, and uh, we elect new people who represent the hopes and the dreams of our great city. Our city is a unique place, a, a, a capital city, the very first planned capital city in the United States of America. Uh, not only born at the at the, at the convex of the broad and saluted rivers of fertile soil that represent the Midlands of, of South Carolina, um, but we personified the government, the capital of this great state um, since 1786. We are a um, historic in a way, number of ways in which we're very proud, and other ways that maybe we're not so very proud. We're the home of the very, very first secession convention. Uh, the challenges of the American the experiment in the American South run through the veins of Columbia, South Carolina. And we have emerged from that as a city representative of literally, we have residents from every one of the 194 sovereign nations of the world here. We are the home of Fort Jackson where victory starts here. We're the home of two historically black colleges, universities and the state's only Carnegie One Research University. A strong uh, civil service buttressed by an incredibly vibrant chamber and business community here in the Midlands. We represent the future, not just of our own community, but of, I believe, the world. We represent them well right here in Columbia, South Carolina. In order for all that to work, we have to make sure we have sound, solid uh, public servants who are willing to work together uh, to acquit the will of the people in a way that's thoughtful, that's judicious, that's cost-effective and responsible, that we take care of the people's purse, but we also push ourselves to think big about what we can be and how we can be. And we obviously um, are driven well by our, our faith. Bishop, thank you for that invocation. We had to go back and, and look at the, uh, where, where, where'd the bishop go? Somewhere, oh, there it is, okay. I had to go back and look at the program and realize the invocation has to come at the beginning of the program, not halfway through uh, the, the program. We're usually blessed in this chamber uh, to um, have Reverend McDowell, uh, not Councilman McDowell, but Reverend McDowell uh, bring, the, uh, bring the word. And if he's not with us that day, we, we have uh, Councilman Duval uh, fill in uh, uh, afterwards. We never 
Daniel been judicious enough to ask the preacher's kid, Mr. Davis, to bring bring word. I'm not sure about that. I'm, I'm not sure what, what's behind that, uh, but we'll we'll uh, we'll figure that out so, someday. Uh, so we'll just plan to be on deck, okay, for um, uh, for service at some point. I um I will say this because I do believe that this is a uh, it has been the privilege of my life. And I know for my colleagues on this council for the men and women who, who work every single day to make sure that the, our collective vision becomes a reality, we take it as a solemn oath uh, to execute the, the, the will of the people. And I will not venture too much into, um, into biblical lesson as we have uh, more than enough uh, men and women of God uh, in this chamber, uh, Reverend. But I often uh, think of the, um, uh, the book of, uh, of Isaiah. Uh, and Isaiah speaks of this this, this vision, his dream of, of, of terrible majesty when the uh, heavens uh, opened up, a host of angels and God himself uh, were before him. Isaiah was awestruck and, and, and frightened. He cried out, what was me for I, for I am undone, for I'm a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips, for my eyes have seen the king, the Lord of hosts. Isaiah was imperfect, frightened, and afraid, standing before the full glory of heaven, um, but when God asked, uh, whom shall I send? Who will go for us? Isaiah stood up. He dusted himself off. And he said, here am I. Send me. Here am I. Send me. I believe that even in this world in which we live, where partisanship has run amok, when we go in separate directions and and things seem gridlocked in almost every level of government except the local government. Uh, that it takes incredibly special men and women to stand up and say, here am I, send me. I am willing to do the will of the people. I am willing to do what it takes to get things done, to bring people together, to speak to love and grace and mercy and justice. It takes very special people and that's why on behalf of the people of this city, on behalf of my members, of, uh, fellow members of city council, um, Ed, Howard, Will, we're so excited to be here with you and your families today. We're so excited to take so, a few moments to celebrate uh, your election. And then, just in a few hours, we gotta get to work. We gotta, we gotta get to work. So, uh, God bless you, uh, thank you, congratulations. Congratulations to your families. This is a family affair. We know it more, more than anything else. And we look forward to getting some great work done together. God bless you. Raise your right hand and put your left hand down. Repeat after me. As a council member of the municipality of the city of Columbia, as a council member of the municipality of the city of Columbia, I will equally, fairly, and impartially, I will equally, fairly, and impartially, to the best of my ability and skill, to the best of my ability and skill, Exercise the trust reposed in me. Exercise the trust imposed in me. And I will to the best of use my best endeavors. And I will use my best endeavors to preserve the peace. To preserve the peace. And carry into effect. And carry into effect. According to the law. According to the law. The purposes. The purposes for which I have been elected. For which I have been elected. So help me God. So help me God. I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear. And I will I am duly qualified. I am duly qualified according to the constitution of this state. According to the constitution of this state to exercise the duties of the office. To exercise the duties of the office to which I have been elected. To which I have been elected. And that I will. And that I will to the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. Discharge the duties thereof. Discharge the duties thereof. And preserve. And preserve. Protect. Protect. And defend. And defend the constitution. The constitution. Of this, state of this state and of the United States. And of the United States. So help me God. So help me God. Mayor Benjamin. Members of council, newly elected member of council, city manager, members of the staff, and friends. 
I want to thank all of you for the recent election. And I see many of you in the audience today that participated vitally in that election. And it means a lot to me to be able to continue to serve. It has been my great honor to have served the last four years on the Columbia City Council. I have worked in municipal government all of my adult life on either the elected side or the administrative side. I have worked with and taught both municipal elected officials and the fine appointed employees who make us elected officials look good. In the last four years, I've gotten to know many of our staff and the great employees of the city of Columbia. I can tell the citizens of the city of Columbia that we have a great staff that is better, as good or better, than any municipal employees in the state of South Carolina. Our city manager has hired the brightest and the best, and they work hard to make our city worthy of being called the capital of the state of South Carolina, as the mayor just mentioned. I look forward to being with all of you during the next four years. And as the mayor said, here am I, send me. As a council member of the municipality, as a council member of the municipality of the city of Columbia, of the city of Columbia, I will equally, I will equally, fairly and impartially, fairly and impartially, to the best of my ability and skill, to the best of my ability and skills, exercise the trust reposed in me. Exercise the trust reposed, reposed in, me, in me, and I will use, and I will use my best endeavors, my best endeavors to preserve the peace, to preserve the peace, and carry into effect, and carry into effect, according to law, according to law, the purposes for which I have been elected, the purposes for which I have been elected. So help me God. So help me God. I do solemnly swear or I affirm. Do, I do solemnly. Affirm that I am duly qualified. I am duly qualified according to the Constitution of this state. The Constitution of this state to exercise the duties of the office. To exercise the duties of this office to which I have been elected. Of which I have been elected. And that I will. And that I will. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. Discharge the duties thereof. Discharge the duties thereof. And preserve. And preserve. Protect, protect, and defend, and defend the Constitution of this state, the Constitution of this state, and of the United States, and of the United States. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. So good. Thank you. Just a word of thanks to our mayor. Fellow members of the council, thank you for your support. Thank you all for giving support and lending support. I must say to you unequivocally and unalterably, uh, the first four years were amazing. Plus, they were insightful. And, of course, um, there are several other adjectives I could, but I dare not to do that. We're not in executive session. <laughs> I want to thank each of you, my colleagues, first of all, because of the civility that this council has embraced, because of the respect we have for each other, these last four years has been working, productive, good years. And I'm appreciative for that. And of course, to this staff, as Howard just said, you are the best staff. Amen. Somebody ought to say amen. You are the best staff. You've assisted us. You've given to some of us who are newbies or were newbies, an indication of how things and things ought to work and should work, and we are thankful for that. 
And finally, I want to say that Columbia is the best city in South Carolina. Say what you will of me, with all of our imperfections, we have moved in a direction where growth, expansion, and relational needs in our cities are being emphasized. And for that, I'm grateful. What is a word that I could possibly use to close these few resounding remarks? I would simply say, you ready, Will? <laughs> it's going to be an interesting journey for each of us. And then I want to say thanks to my good friend, uh, uh, Chip Finney. Uh, Miss Finney is here with us today. They've been friends of ours for the longest. And there's no other person that I would have asked other than my father, who is deceased. Thank you all so much. Let's put on, let's gird our loins for the journey and for that which is to come for the next four years. Thank you all so much. May God continue to bless each of us. Mr. Bumpus, the council member of the municipality of the city of Columbia, as a council member of the municipality of the city of Columbia, I will equally, fairly, and impartially, I will equally, fairly, and equally, impartially, to the best of my ability and skill, to the best of my ability, Exercise the trust, exercise the trust reposed in me, reposed in me, and I will use my best endeavors to preserve the peace. I will use my best endeavors to preserve the peace and carry into effect, according to the law, the purposes for which I have been elected. <laughs> Just about that in half. Okay. First half. And carry into law. And carry into law. <laughs> The purposes for which the purposes for which I have been elected I have been elected so help me God so help me God I do solemnly swear I do solemnly swear that I am duly qualified that I am duly qualified according to the constitution of this state according to the constitution of this state to exercise the duties of the office to exercise the duties of the office to which I have been elected to which I have been elected and that I will and that I will, to the best of my ability, to the best of my ability, to start discharge the duties, discharge the duties thereof, thereof, and preserve, and preserve, protect, protect, and defend, and defend the constitution of this state, and the constitution of this state, and the United States, and the United States. So help me God. So help me God. I'm, I'm not going to force her to hug me in front of you all, so. <laughs> what a wonderful day. Life, life is beautiful. Life is great. If you campaigned as long as, as we did, you, you reconnect with old friends, you meet new friends, you go to a lot of neighborhood association meetings, forums. You get out there. You get to know your wonderful city. And a lot of times I would have the, pr the privilege, like I do today, to speak after my, my friend and new colleague, Reverend McDowell. And I think it was an a, um, Easter breakfast. And I had, just, I had heard, heard him speak so much, and he's a hard, hard act to follow. So I went up to him at this breakfast. He was about to give the keynote. And I said, man, you've got to give me some tips, man. Your, 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 your public speaking game is on fire. And he looked at me and he called me in close. He said, follow the KISS method. I turned my head and said, what, what is the KISS method? Keep it simple, stupid. <laughs> Thompson, that's keep it simple, silly for you, okay? <laughs> so I'm going to keep it simple. Thank you so much. Thank you to everyone that worked so hard on this long campaign that got the message out for us, that, that worked so hard.
to my wonderful wife. Thank you so much. I love you so much. Um, to, my, to my parents, to my parents, wonderful role models, to my sister Katie and brother-in-law Mac, the, the beautiful family that y'all have. I really appreciate it. Um, you know, the hard work on the campaign was nothing compared to the hard work that starts today. I realize that. I look forward to that. I look forward to working with my new colleagues on continuing to work on the basics, to build this foundation for us to reach the beautiful potential that this city has. If you, if you attended all those forums and neighborhood associations, you heard me say many times, the only reason city council exists is to give you, the citizens of this wonderful city, the best quality of life. I look forward to serving District 3 in the, the city of Columbia and giving you that best quality of life. Thank you so much. Hey there, Mayor Steve Benjamin here. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you give it a like right below the video and don't forget to subscribe. Also, while you're here, be sure to check out one of our other videos or follow on our social media platforms. Thanks again and remember, we are Columbia.